According to the Executive Director of the National Planning Authority, Dr. Joseph Muvawala, the parish development model will face several challenges, especially in the central region, because of the population. Muvawala also adds that Parliament, which is supposed to play the oversight role, is not doing its work. Started in an imperfect way. Get the total budget divided by the parishes. That is imperfect. But it's the best beginning. As we move, we, we, we improve the formula. We are now collecting data about the parishes. But as we implement, we will improve. The most important thing is that we want planning and implementation at the parish level. Muvawala, who was conducting a training project based budgeting, revealed that many government projects have failed to succeed because they lack a standardized service delivery system, something that may hinder everything that has been planned. One of the biggest problems for service delivery in this country is lack of standardized service delivery standards. A Ugandan should know what is the standard of the classroom. A Ugandan should know if I take my kid to P1, how can I check that that Ugandan has learned? The leader of opposition, Matthew Simpuga, also revealed that the parish development model project will only benefit a few Ugandans. This model is um, highly politicized and might miss the big point of getting our people focused production and poverty alleviation. While interacting with the officials from the National Planning Authority, MPs pointed out that several projects fail because of poor planning. You cannot give out some money, hand out, to someone whom you have not sensitized on the, how to use it, to savings, how to use it, how to invest, which business to invest in if you to bring results, and it's going to be revolving fund. Where if the, the money which has come from this group should be the one out to go to the other group, depending on how they have performed. But we see only loopholes in this parish mode, unless otherwise if government gives the chance for it to be reviewed. Just making sure that we bridge that gap between the planners, I call them the experts in planning, and us the leaders. You saw each and every one actually is excluding the leaders from the parish development model program, that it is government-based, and the government, they mean it is NRM. Yesterday, members of parliament under the Uganda Parliamentary Caucus also spoke out against the parish development model, explaining why it's not fair to many, it will fail, and why it will not benefit people in Buganda. We demand equity and fairness. Secondly, all we ask for is that either they distribute this money in accordance to population density. Sarah Nakandi, CTV, PM Edition.